nobody wants to die. I mean, this is a very difficult thing to experience, but I think if there is a good way to do it, you know, I think we got there through the help of Posthumus. Hospice and Palliative Care Center took the burden off of all of us of caring for my mother and allowed us to just be her children. And the four of us had such a special time with her in her final weeks, and I could not have scripted a better ending to my mother's wonderful life than the one we had at the Kate B. Reynolds Hospice Home. As a board member, I am proud to work with an organization who has served this community for 35 years with quality, compassionate care. Someone very special took care of my mother during her final days, and that was a hospice nurse. She went above and beyond in her care for my mother. Anytime he's, he got a fever or he started getting sick, 24-7, didn't matter what time, I would call and they would send a nurse to my house. I salute hospice because of the grief counseling services that they provided for me and my family after the death of my husband. But Jane had suffered so long that uh, it made me feel good. I knew she was comfortable. And I've never regretted getting her involved in hospice from the day, the very day we knew that she was not going to live very long. Every day I get to take care of people in their homes and keep them comfortable where they want to be. One of the most rewarding parts of volunteering hospice is being a part of a group that I really believe in. The earlier referral, the better. So my mother-in-law had Alzheimer's disease for 18 years. And once we involved hospice, it was of great comfort to her, her caregivers, and her family, her two, three adult children, she was a widow. Hospice is part of the continuum of care and bringing hospice onto the team early is incredibly important and does nothing but enhance care. Because our team members that were coming in became like family and I actually call them our guardian angels. I look and I see how much they did for me, for her, for my older sister that we could be the sisters to her that last week that she was here that I couldn't be when I was taking care of her at home. The nurse that took care of Dad for that, that week, she was on call every moment that we needed her. If I had a question and it didn't matter what it was, I could pick up the phone and, and I could get in touch with her. My grandmother was with hospice care for a couple of months and I was very reassured because I didn't have to worry about my mother because she was also in good hands with hospice. The transition was peaceful, it was beautiful, I was supported by the team at hospice, and my brother and I both felt like we, we did the best kindness we could have ever done for her to bring her over here, but it was also the best kindness we could do for ourselves. I believe that hospice delivers the best care possible for this special time in a person's life. Um, they deliver compassionate, comprehensive care that goes well beyond what we can offer in the usual circumstance in the usual community, and they deliver it wherever that patient would like that care to be given in the best possible way. You know, they, they enmeshed themselves within our family, you know, met us where we were at, absolutely. I wish we'd called sooner. There was a sense of genuineness that Never did I feel like we're trying to force you in one direction or another. It was always knowledge is power. The more you know, the better decision you can make for your circumstance. They bent over backwards to help my dad and my mom. Because you understand that there isn't a cookbook for this. The process and the individual families are very different. And you have to bring that awareness to the table, and, I, and again, I, I think that hospice is experienced in doing that. Hospice made me feel not totally prepared for this experience. How do you get prepared to lose your husband at 54? But it gave me tools to navigate the territory. So I didn't feel like I was doing it by myself. And I'll always be very grateful. As a chaplain, giving people hope and spiritual support. 
My favorite part about Camp Carousel was when we tied tie a note to the balloon to our loved ones and we let it go. I wrote, hey, Nene, that's what I called him. Um, I, miss, I miss you, I wish you could come back. Every day I work alongside of over 300 staff that inspire me. They truly have hospice in their hearts, and it's not just our direct patient care staff, it's everybody who supports the mission of Hospice and Palliative Care Center. Working with a hospice counselor, whether independently or in a group session, has really given me a perspective on my grief, how to deal with my grief, and how to interact with other people who are dealing with grief and how to help my sons, all three of them, who are dealing with their own grief, loss of their father in a completely different way. It is something that provides uh, a place of respite. It takes a lot of weight off of the family. The chaplaincy service are there, you know, 24 hours a day. Uh, they come in, you know, whenever you need them. And they, uh, you know, even a, a, for me as a pastor, they'll come in and assist. You know, I don't have to come in and act as a pastor. I can be the family member. I do, I love what I do because it makes a difference. I feel like I'm, contributing something to the family and the, and the patients, and it's just an honor. Mom had hospice for three months, and those three months was on a daily basis. It gave me that sense of security. At least I knew that she would have the care she needed all that time. The doctors are in there to treat the disease, but not the person, and hospice really treats the family and our family was very well served. Our third son, Jacob, died at birth, and then after that, I individually went and sought grief canceling here through hospice. It's just helpful to have somebody bounce stuff off of and not have it have to be my husband all the time. I remember saying to my counselor one time, it's so much easier to talk to you than it is a family member because I'm afraid I will upset those people who are close to me. But I can go through the process with you and I'm not worried that I'll upset you. And he said, no, you're not going to upset me. He said, but the real reason that you're not going to upset me is because I know you're going to get better. And that was just enormous relief to me because there was a time I wasn't sure I was going to get better. I, I salute hospice for the five months and really 10 days of the quality care that allowed my wife to maintain dignity and a sense of self-assurance and a confidence for her last days here on this earth. They provided an opportunity for my family to say goodbye to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law and they not only took care of them, but they took care of us in the process as well. It's been said that every day is a gift, and that's why we call it the present. My family found that hospice was truly the gift which improved the quality of every single day of life for my parents as patients, for me as a caregiver and a daughter, and for my entire family. Hospice provides the care, the comfort, the ability to help people transition from one stage to another. I am so grateful for hospice for how they helped not only me, but my mother and my father before they passed away. I want to congratulate hospice and all their wonderful workers and volunteers and staff for 35 years of wonderful service to our community. I salute hospice for 35 years of compassionate care.